Hey guys. Yeah, anyway, look at my it's like windshield wipers. Isn't that isn't that nice? Because it's raining out right now. Alright. Toy of the day is my pencil. No, it's not. It is right here. Here it comes. Do you know who it is? That's right, it's Steven Seagal. With his with his long legs. This is like uh, early Steven Seagal, Nico Toscani from Out for Justice. Look at that fine, fine molding job they did on this Steven Seagal. Actually, yeah, he kind of looks like that Zadar guy too from uh, Tango and Cash. I was I was a huge Steven Seagal fan when I was like in junior high and high school. I thought he was legit, but also sort of in a tongue-in-cheek way that it was a little cheesy, but also still kind of cool. And, uh, I don't know, those movies were kind of funny, just because you could tell in those movies he just took himself so seriously, like, probably a little too seriously, and then when I got older, like, once the internet came around and they started doing interviews with people that knew Steven Seagal and worked with him and found out that he really did take himself, like, really, really seriously... It made sense. So today, I'm just gonna do, I think this should be kind of a quick one, is I wanna do Steven Seagull. You know, he's like Steven Seagal, but he's a seagull. I don't think that's a real big stretch of the imagination. And I figure he should probably have like a martial arts school where, you know, where he also takes it very, very seriously, but he's kind of a, probably, I can feel like he's like kind of a scammy guy. Like, he probably just tries to sell like his supplements and, and uh, you know, that don't do anything. They're just like, you know, flour in a container and, yeah, what kind of, you know, let's see, Steven Seagal trained in Aikido. I'll have to try to think of like a martial art, name for his martial art. Let's see. And it's going to make it look like a real legit, legit dojo, but maybe we should just like put it like it's in some sort of strip mall or something. And not that there's anything wrong with that either, but just we'll make it look... Not that, not like a real ancient dojo. We'll just put the regular exit sign. And we'll put my usual like space filler if I'll just put an outlet here. Oh, and we'll even put like a power strip on the floor. You know. And, you know, I'll sketch in the rest of this background and then we'll go to inking here in just a sec. Hold on. Okay, I just whipped up some little extra background stuff there, so look at this just totally blank expression on Steven Seagull's face here. The kind of legend in his own mind. Uh, I was gonna think like like Kung Fu. He's wearing like the, the Chinese clothes that Steven Seagal always wears. How about like just like since he's a seagull, we'll call it Gull Fu. It seems that seems appropriate. So he's got this gull food, the secret, the secret wisdom of the of the seagull. Maybe like, sort of like, in martial arts, there's always like, you know, he's trained in monkey style, or the fierceness of a tiger, and he's like, the underrated power and wisdom of the seagull. I can unlock for eighty nine ninety nine per lesson. I can. Unlock the, the secrets of the seagull in you and teach you our ancient ways. And I will sell you my repackaged protein bars with seagull powers, with seagull droppings. No, <laughs> not seagull droppings. That's a bridge too far to cross. But you get the idea. He's sort of a, sort of a shady character. I kind of like this character already. He's also a good one to just, he's an easy one to put together. I think he'd be a good background. Just a guy on contemplation walks, 
trouncing about. Oh, you know what? He should also, uh, he should have like a, a decree that he wants to like, uh, since uh, Mo Melodic and uh, Detective Clouseau haven't been able to catch that, that cat burglar, maybe he should have like a, a decree that he's going to capture the cat burglar too. So that way he can be like another inept person, you know, trying to, trying to take down that thief. There we go. I'm going to put like a dehumidifier in the corner because it's kind of a, his building that he rents is sort of a musty building and it gets kind of damp in there. Anybody with allergies just knows to take their Claritin before they enter the musty martial arts dojo. I also had thought of, because I also am a big fan of Jean-Claude Van Damme, and I think, I didn't feel like putting him in here too, it was going to be like a little too snug, but I thought maybe he should be a clam, so he could be Jean-Claude Van Clam. So he'll have a poster of Jean-Claude Van Clam. Maybe he, like, signed it. Like, to my kicking buddy, Steven. I'll put that in the background. Jean-Claude Van Clam. A little put, like, he just whipped a signature on there. So he's like, anytime Jean-Claude, any people come in and go like, Oh my gosh, you have a Jean-Claude Van, Van Clam signature. And he like waited in line in hours at like some sort of martial arts convention to get it. But he's like, oh yeah, John Clive Van Clam is a good friend of mine. I, I taught him his signature 360 kick. He was nothing before he met me. We're good, good friends. I went to a barbecue at his house once and, uh, and we sparred and I defeated him easily. And the reason why when people mentioned that they know me he always says he doesn't know me because he's embarrassed that i taught him such a harsh lesson that day at his barbecue but really he sat outside the barbecue and tried to get inside and they wouldn't let him up the driveway but he took a picture like over the rails and uh you know to try to prove that he was there to tell his friends yeah, something like that. That's all. I'm liking all the sounds of this. <laughs> Steven Seagull. Sounds pretty pathetic. Here we go. Sorry, this is kind of like kind of a mean episode. But, you know, I'm trying to make the island like, you know, to have some people that are like real life characters. Not to say that Steven Seagull is like that in real life, but there's some degree of that in the world do, do, do so anyway I'll finish just inking the rest of this in and then we'll just go into turbo paint mode so let's jump into turbo Alright, here he is in all his glory, Steven Seagull, or Steven Seagull, with his Gulfu, yeah, Gulfu, is that what I said? Yeah, Gulfu, and I said I put some, like, you know, every martial arts school has the trophy shelf, I'm guessing that maybe these are his trophies, 8th place, 10th place, this one's got a P for participant, and then of course a sign on the door that says, pay your bill, just a reminder, get that paid, and then... I just decided to make the walls just sort of this, just a mixture, combinations of browns and greens, kind of a that musty, musty old dojo. Yeah, I really like this character a lot, actually, to be honest. He's just, uh, he seems like a lot of fun to me, um, which is funny. It feels like I'm ripping on Steven, Steven uh, Seagal, too, and he's like, you wouldn't dare to rip on Steven Seagal if I was here face to face right now. This, which is true, because if I saw Steven Seagal like out on the street right now, I would run up and be like, "Oh my gosh, Steven Seagal, I love you. Under Siege is my favorite," and uh, I would definitely kiss up to him and try to get a picture with him, and I would be so excited. But so, but I think I don't know. Maybe his uh, his real life persona is like uh, just makes him a little more human. I don't know. But this is this is not a human. This is Steven Seagal. Not to be confused with Steven Seagal. Totally different guy. 
So here he is on the island with his with his dojo, and I uh, hope you guys all enlist to protect yourselves in these trying times. <laughs> all right, see you guys later. Bye.